Hello, Denizens. Former network executive reaction to Strange New Worlds, Season 1, Episode 9. The penultimate episode. I have to be honest with you, I'm in a state of shock. You should not be shocked if I tell you that there will be spoilers. When I watch a TV show for review, the main question I want answered is, do I want to see it to the very end of the episode? And as far as a series is concerned, do I want to watch the series? There are three things I want in a series. I want a unique environment with original stories that advance characters, plot, and tells me more about the rules of the world. I also want actors that take the story to another level. One of the things I've finally realized watching SNW and Disco is that, at the very least, the Star Trek world has been fully explored a long time ago for me and offers nothing of interest anymore. That's a key component lost when trying to find enjoyment watching this series. That's a drag. For instance, uh, one of the things that uh, made The Expanse work for me was that I learned about its Earth versus Mars versus the Belters. Every episode, there was something new, new characters, new stories, but also new information about this, these worlds and their relationship. The world should be a character, and The Expanse does a fantastic job of turning its world into one. Strange New Worlds offered no new Star Trek world up until this one. Unfortunately, it was the world copied from Aliens. I don't know if James Cameron can sue. I checked to see if he was credited. Apparently, the Gorn impregnate their victims with their eggs. They hatch and explode out of their host. This time, it's many tiny Gornlings instead of just one alien. And they kill each other off until there's only one Alpha Gorn that then goes off and kills people. Seriously. I was so shocked that I don't know what else to say. W what am I supposed to review? For God's sakes, there's even a Newt character. What wasn't shocking is that Rebecca Romaine is once again just a bit of set decoration. I now think that the deal with Rebecca was that they shot all of her scenes from all 10 shows in just one day so she could just head home. I've pretty much given up on a Pike, Una, Spock episode. That being said, they certainly did a good job of engaging all the crew that landed on the planet. I am getting a bit tired of the interference on the planet is preventing us from communicating with the Enterprise shit. Enough already. Get a different wireless character for Christ's sake. And the ending was such an utter shock that I, I don't even want to talk about it. It, it, it was horrible. They killed off, arguably, the best character in the series. I can't even bring myself to ask, um, why were they washing dishes with water on the Enterprise? Wouldn't there have been a food particle zapping cubicle that would have been far more efficient and hygienic? I'm still coming to grips with Pike's room. It would make a spectacular condo suite. I should add that the graduating class of cadets, overall, does not make out very well in this episode. The show did not look cheap this time. The alien creature work here was stunning. Perhaps the very best Star Trek alien I have ever seen. And I could argue over so many other bits and pieces, but ultimately, they were just choices. I won't argue choices. Mine uh, would not have been any better than theirs. 
Although I doubt it. I'm going to leave it there, denizens. Sorry, I forgot. Anson Mount's hair work was admirable, which is why I'm calling this review Hair Today, Gorn Tomorrow. Would love to hear your thoughts on this show. <laughs> I'm utterly shocked. I really am. Till next time, denizens. Be seeing you. Wow.